Yo, what's up guys? Best of Games here, and we're back with the Pokemon Sword Surprise Lock. Now, I'm sure you guys may or may not have noticed, but this, <laughs> this series has been on break for like... A month and a half? Um... And that's because the last episode that came out was like a month and a half ago. And that was like late April. And, uh, well, some shit happened in that time frame. And, uh, I don't even remember where the fuck we're going in this game. I'm just kind of playing it to play it. Um, mainly because I got this far, I might as well finish what I started. Um,. Because why wouldn't I finish this great surprise lock? So the be the end of March, I uh, was already um, like four weeks ahead on this shit. I was like, cool. It's every Monday at 1 p.m. and that's when you're seeing this now. And it's actually Monday 1 p.m. and it's not going up this week. It's going up the next week. Uh, today's the 1st of June, just to date myself here. Um, did I win the thing already? I'm supposed to fight whatever his face is right now? Is that where I'm at? Alright, I gotta do a go. Go against the gym leaders. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, so anyway, yeah, back to what I was saying is I was like four weeks ahead on this shit. And I was like, all right, cool. And then lockdowns started happening and I am classified as an essential worker, so I was like, very cool, I get to go to work still, yay me. And my fiance also, yeah, let's go. Um, also was an essential worker, so she was going into work as well. Although her job was getting closer to starting to do some layoffs and stuff, but that, that's not really that important. What is important is that the end of March, like the 30th, I uh, ended up... Yeah, Leon, whatever. Um, I ended up going to work on a Monday, and I came home, felt a fever, and had a sore throat. I was like, well... This is terrifying. Oh, right, bead. Um, I forgot all about this shit. Um, who's this kid? Anyway, um... I'm just clicking through dialogue. Anyway, yeah, so like, the 30th, 31st, whatever it was, and I said, okay, I have a fever and a sore throat, and that's not good, I don't... Like, I feel kind of okay, but fever and sore throat, and I don't want to get people sick, so I called into my job the next day and said, hey, you know, I have a fever, I don't want to, like, get anybody sick or anything, so can we, you know, do whatever, and they were like, alright, you know, see if you will get tested or whatever, and it's a good day to get tested, so I called out two days in a row. And I went and got the test, and then they said, all right, well, you won't get a response for, like, fucking seven years. Well, it was, like, three days, but whatever. So I was like, all right, cool, that's not really useful to me, because, you know, my job needs to know if I can come into work or not. And uh, a couple days later, I get a phone call saying, hey, uh, you tested positive for coronavirus or COVID-19. Um, and I said, oh, that's cool, I guess. Um, 
and basically the entire month of April to me is gone. Uh, I wouldn't say gone, but like mostly gone. Um, between starting to feel sick, literally getting to the point where I was waking up in the middle of the night so incredibly dehydrated that I didn't even realize that I was that dehydrated that I went to the bathroom and I completely passed out and hit the ground. Um, <laughs> so that was a bit of a scare. I'm pretty sure I I literally have no recollection of a good like 10 minutes of my life because I don't know if I was conscious or not. Um, luckily I got my fiance to come out to help me at like 2 in the morning and I got water in me and it, it took a while but um, obviously okay but that was a nice scare. Um, and then I spent the next like two weeks basically feeling like absolute dog shit. And uh, then my fiance got it and I had to take care of her. So I basically missed like four weeks of work due to the coronavirus, which I was only paid for like two. Um, but again, whatever, I'm not irresponsible with my money, so we're, we're fine. Um, oh, shut the fuck up, B. I don't care. Um, anyway, so yeah, coronavirus, COVID-19, hey, ain't that some shit, man? Um, I don't know what kind of long list of permanent effects it has on my body. Oh, that's his last Pokemon? What the f- shit, shit, man. I would've Dynamaxed or something. I didn't realize I was kicking his ass that hard without even paying attention. Um... I should have realized it from a little cutscene, but I. Who cares about that? Um, yeah, you still wing on that big ass bitch. Oh, yeah, use Max Flare because you have fire move. Because that's not worth shit. Holy shit, right, this is a Nuzlocke. Um, fuck. This is a Nuzlocke. I was faster than it the first time? I'm gonna go with I'm faster than it the second time. Nuzlocke shit. Um, so yeah, anyway. So, because that entire month is a uh, fucking blur. Um, yeah, then I went back to work. And I was going back to work and doing what I'm doing. Living my life and being me. And uh, I finally found some time to come back to this thing to finish this, uh, you know, the video series up. So, we're finishing the video series. Um, what I can say is try not to get COVID 19, because that shit's no joke and it's no fun. Um, although with the state of the world, well, the state of the U.S. right now, uh, on June 1st, um, I don't think COVID-19 is really the thing that's gonna scare people that much right now. Um, I'm not gonna speak one way or the other on what's going on on that. All I say is that everyone should be treated equally, and there is absolutely no reason that the police should be as violent as they are, um, but I don't know every side of the story, and I know some people might get all pissy with me on saying that, but yeah, that's my opinion, um, don't like it, don't watch, um, but like I said, that's all I'm gonna really say about it, because there's not much for me to say about it. Um, I can't speak for anybody else and the shit that they've had to deal with. I've had to deal with my own amount of shit, and uh, maybe one day on this channel I'll explain that if I ever have any reason to. Um, but. Yeah. 
It is what it is. Why has it got to be Nessa first? I should have known that. Shit. Um, yeah, so we're going to play Pokemon now. And uh, my takeaway is try not to get this deadly virus that has killed a lot of fucking people. And do your best to be aware of the people around you and not get them sick as well. Being a selfish little prick that you might be. Um, or not prick. I mean, hey, whatever. You, you do you, but... Do you and only affect you, not other people around you. Um, because you might say, like, hey, it's my choice to do this, 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 this. Yes, it's your choice to do that, but is it someone else's choice to get sick because you made a sit a shitty fucking, like, decision? No, that's not fair to the other person. If you, like, I, I kind of relate it to, like, smoking. Like, you want to smoke? You want to slowly kill yourself from the inside out? Fucking do it, man. That's your fucking life. It's your fucking body. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. But, the second you start blowing smoke in other people's faces and smoking in their fucking space and being all like, oh, well, everything, I can do whatever the fuck I want, because if I want to smoke and kill myself, that's fine. Yes, but you don't need to blow your fucking smoke into everybody else's goddamn face and be a fucking jackass about it. So, that's kind of where I sit on that. Like, you want to hurt yourself? Fucking go for it, dude. You do whatever the fuck you want to yourself. But... Don't involve others with your shitty fucking ideas or suggestions or whatever. Because the other people might not choose to be affected by your bullshit. And it's not fair to them. Because you're a selfish prick. That's all. Just be mindful of people around you because you're not the only person in the world. Boy, if you were the only person in the world, you'd be a lonely motherfucker. But, hey, again, each their own. Glaciopod. Um, do I have a good way to fight this thing? No, these Pokemon all suck. Um, well, Charizard's not bad, but <laughs> we're against Nessa. Um, maybe I should just use Labras. I have to kind of focus on the game a little bit. Grumble, grumble. But, hey, you know. Like I said, the big takeaway is, you know, a stupid little quote that you hear in school, which is, treat yourself, treat others the way you would like to be treated. If you don't want somebody in your fucking face being an asshole, then don't be an asshole. Because you get what you, you get what you put out, basically. And some people may not get as much as they put out because they're lucky or have some sort of privilege or something. And good for them, I guess. Just be aware you're not the only human in the world. Which is why I went through great lengths and basically gave up two weeks of my pay to make sure that other people didn't get the coronavirus that I had. Because I didn't want to just go into work and after being out for two weeks and be like, oh, well, I'm going to get everybody sick now because I'm still feeling the effects of it. I mean, seriously. Like... It's a common courtesy thing, like, don't fuck over other people's lives because you you need to make a buck or something. Yeah, you fucking stomp down on that fucking sea king. Even though I assume that if you body slammed a sea king, you would take a fucking horn right up your fucking ass. Do I have anything to fight this thing? No. <laughs> Sucks. No. I, I need an electric type. I think that's what Rotom is supposed to be, but he ain't high enough level. Ugh, Drizzle. Body slam some more. But yeah, anyway, enough with all the serious talk. Let's play some Pokemon. Yeah, 
yeah, deep paralysis. Keep body slamming. Keep doing the Lapras. Keep doing the thing. It's a quick Lapras. Keep doing the thing. Red Gnaw. Alright. We're gonna do Rex Blizzard. Right now, kaboom! We did it. it! Really is instant game view, huh? Amazing, <laughs> the Elgato game capture stuff, and literally, it's the same thing. As watching the screen. Like, I don't even need the TV on. Uh. Um, why aren't I gonna split this into two episodes? Because I can. So, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!